Hey y'all, it's Steve, coming to you from uh, my luxurious sunroom here in glorious Antioch, Tennessee. Uh, we're out here because my wife is having class right underneath my studio, and uh, I don't want to bother her, so we're out here. As I understand it, guitar unboxing videos are still very popular. So, I've got a guitar to unbox, let's take a look at it, shall we? Fun fact, this is the second time I'm recording this video, the first time was four days ago. I ordered this guitar from American Musical Supply and uh, thanks to FedEx it showed up with the neck ripped off of the body. So it had to be sent back and this is the replacement. Uh, to say I was amused, no. I was definitely not amused. Nicely enough though, this appears to be double boxed. The first one showed up in a single box which was very thin, so I had my doubts about the viability of it anyway. But uh, let's take a look here, shall we? Now, as I had alluded to in the last episode, this has at least ties to a Southern California factory. It's not Rickenbacker. It's not Fender. It's not even GNL. Although it's related to all the above, um, tenuously in the case of Rickenbacker. All right, so let's see. We have an outer box. And an inner box. Yes, it's much better. Now, as I said the first time, the guitar showed up in just one of these. Look how thin that is. That's, I'm hardly surprised it suffered some kind of damage. So, as you can see here, it is indeed a Sterling by Music Man. Um, I've heard some very, very good things about these. Uh, this particular one is a Stingray model, SR50. And... I've always had a hankering for a Stingray, but I recently priced a Made in USA Music Man Stingray, and it was $26.99. It's just a bit out of my price range. So I saw a couple of other videos from other people where they were singing the praises of these 50 series as opposed to 30 series Sterlings. These are supposed to come with roasted maple necks. At one point in time, I was told they were coming with stainless steel frets, although that spec has since been changed. But uh, we'll see. Let's see if we can get this bad boy out of here, shall we? There we go. Well, that's considerably better than before. Double layers of packaging. I believe this will be our vibrato arm and truss rod tool. Fun fact, a truss rod tool for any Music Man product is literally just a piece of round metal stock because they don't have a standard wrench adjustment. Something much more convenient. Let's take a look here. By the way, this is not going to be a review. I will do a review for the next episode. This is just the unboxing, give my initial impressions, and uh, share with you my excitement of a new toy. Take off the burial shroud here. And here we go. Sterling Stingray. And this is uh, some form of silver, although it looks very blue. Also seems to have some sort of a something on the finish, but I think that'll yeah that polishes off. Okay, <laughs> I was concerned after the last one. All right, so yes, we have a very nice sculpted neck joint that is nice and tight. There's no gap between the neck and the body. On the last one, there was literally in excess of a half inch where it had been apparently dropped at some point and the neck ripped away from the body. Um, there's a chance I could have put it back together, tightening the screws and snugging it all up. But once those screws have been literally torn out of the holes, you don't want to deal with that. So I'll leave that to uh, American Musical Supply to, uh, to do themselves and probably, you know, price as a B-stock item on their blowouts or something. I don't know. But anyway, <clears throat> I have to take off this ugly plastic on the pit guard, but 
Initial impressions. The frets, fret ends, completely smooth. Nothing hanging me up at all, which to me is one of the biggest, biggest indicators of a, of a good guitar. Um, it's a bit weighty, but not bad. Um, all things considered, I, I'd say that I'm happy with this one out of the box. So, as I said, in the next episode, I'm actually going to review this. And uh, just as a uh, little heads up, a little sneak peek into my brain here, I'm thinking the next episode will be my 12-string journey. Um, maybe I'll explain to you how I came to where I am. I'm very much a 12-string enthusiast. I've owned many of them. Still own a few. And uh, I will explain how I came to having the ones I have and the one in particular that I use for uh, performances with my bands. So, until then, and this should only be a few days because uh, this whole thing kind of put me behind and I'm working a lot, but hey, that's not your problem. Uh, it should just be a few more days. Uh, this is coming to you on the uh, 11th of April. And uh, I hope to have this out, uh, by the way, this out immediately and the next episode out uh, this weekend. So, until you see me again, keep on rocking, chime on, all that good stuff. Don't forget to like, subscribe, tell a friend, tell an enemy, go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. I don't care. But uh, leave a comment, and uh, if you have any experience with Music Man and or Sterling, men make a mention of it down in the comments. And, what? Is that possible? No, it's not in tune. It's close. E, A, and D sounded pretty decent. Anyway, till next time, folks. This is Steve signing off.